This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we are at the Mila Gallery in Princeton, New Jersey, celebrating Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertainment. And today we have joining us Lori, Ashley, and Colin from Diageo, which is the name behind many of the spirits and wines we know and love. And you are all going to be presenting to us some innovative and unique cocktails. Our first um, drink that we're going to be presenting is the Ciroc Red Berry. Okay. It's actually a, a line extension. It's one of the uh, flavors under the Ciroc portfolio. Ciroc is our ultra premium vodka. It's distilled five times and it's one of the first vodkas made with French grapes. Mm. So it's ultra smooth. And within that, I said there's two flavors. One is the berry and the other is the Ciroc. And we actually have right here the Ciroc Red Berry Repartee. Mm. And it is made with Ciroc Red Berry, a splash of grenadine, and then also um, lemon lime soda. Mm. Mm, that's incredibly light. Yeah. It's a nice refreshing drink. Nothing too heavy, really nice and sweet. Yeah, and like Ashley said, it's made from the French grapes, kind of similar to how wines are made. So you want to think of it that way, where heat's yes. added to grain-based vodkas. This is all cold fermentation, cold maceration, cold storage, so very comparable to how the wines are made. Certainly, very, very good drink and easy to make. All right, and what do we have for our second drink? Well, we're gonna go over to Colin. We all know the way to get a party started is to call in the captain. All right, yes. and Colin, we should add, is the ma master mixologist at this Diageo, is almost that correct? A, almost a captain, yeah, I'm getting almost there. Almost a captain. He's yes. earning his captain I'm, I'm, status. Captain in training. I'm working my way up the ranks. Where you okay. know. Um, so we're gonna do a uh, Captain Morgan Lime Bite drink. This one's gonna be a little bit more complex than the first. Mm -hmm. This might be something for yourself at the end of the party. Reward yourself something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex, you know. You're gonna work I like hard. that thinking. Do it for yourself. I like that thinking. You should okay. reap your own rewards. Nice. You know? um, start with half a lime, and you're gonna uh, muddle those. You wanna get some of the uh, oil out, which is gonna give you a little, you know, a little depth of flavor. I'm gonna do uh, one dash of grapefruit bitters. So it's I'm gonna make two at a time, so it's gonna be two dashes. A little simple syrup. It's gonna be a one to one simple syrup, sugar to water. And that's something that we could easily make at home, simple syrup. A little fresh grapefruit juice. Our set is looking so festive with all of our colorful drinks and our beautiful flowers, our unique flowers, compliments of pita bashana, of uh, alvin flowers. And we should always remember to drink responsibly. Absolutely. At our parties and mm -hmm. encourage our guests to do so mm -hmm. also. And if you like the drinks that uh, you see here today and you want more, go on to www.thebar.com and you can look it up by your favorite Diageo brands, by occasion, oh, by flavor. That's good to know. Tons so there's great recipes for There's drink parties. recipes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. You can print it off and have it behind your bar at your house. Create an account, save it to your file. So the Captain Morgan Lime Bite is the newest extension. It's just a silver uh, spice rum and mm -hmm. it's spiked with lime. Or you can even drop it in a, a half a glass of beer. Oh, that's a good idea. Mixologist at work. <laughs> Gotta admire it. It's a dance, mm -hmm. really. It's a dance. Colin, what are you doing by, sh what are you straining out? The lime Well, yeah, pieces? you know, the, you know, there's the pulp in, uh, in all citrus, and then also with the, you know, the whole muddled limes in there. Okay. Um, while you can leave them in your drink, I would advise you drink it faster because the, you know, the bitterness does add up and kind of accentuate the alcohol will actually help pull that ah, out. Okay. So it gets to be a little overwhelming. It's also a little ice shards and... Is this something where you could make a batch of it in advance? Maybe? Yeah, absolutely. And keep it in a pitcher, maybe pour it over ice? Yes. Is that something you could do? And then maybe, you know, obviously topping with club soda, you save that for last, you know. Okay. So we could do this, in, you know, the, the, all the prep work before yes. the party yeah. and keep it in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. Without further ado, cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. Happy holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. That's great. Mm. Really good. Very smooth. Mm. Yeah. Nice There's almost a, almost like a vanilla um, mm -hmm. taste to it. Yeah. And it's really it's quite light. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. This is called mm. the Ciroc Coco Loco. I love anything coconut. <laughs> it's just Ciroc coconut, pineapple juice. Serve it over ice. And Ciroc is the official drink of New Year's Eve. Oh. So, you know, pineapple juice, you have some Ciroc coconut, and you're ready to start the party. So it's equal parts coconut, 
Ciroc yes. and pineapple juice. Yes. Just over ice. Just over ice. Simple. Reason Fabulous. enough for us to start a party. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Very good. Drink responsibly. And thank you so much for joining us here. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.